What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones and uh, we're here to talk about this baby today, the OnePlus Pad. This is OnePlus's first attempt at a tablet or pad as they're calling it device that's meant to compete with the iPads of the world and obviously what's coming soon, the Pixel tablet in the Android market. Obviously Samsung's tabs have been around a while. They are kind of the benchmark for Android tablets but a couple of feelings, a couple of thoughts on this device I wanted to get out to you guys and uh, spoiler alert, I don't think you can go wrong for the money. However, I think you can do much better. And I think this is gonna have some issues in the market right now with the new Google Pixel tab, uh, tablet coming out, just due to the fact that not only are they very comparable in price, but the way that that tablet integrates seamlessly in Google's ecosystem, it really just gives it a little more value. What I mean by that is you can not only wirelessly charge it and set it on the dock and get a full ambient Nest Hub system with it, but also you can just pick it up, take it to go with you as you deem fit as well. Now, the build quality might not be as premium as this. I really do like how the OnePlus pad looks and feels. That nice brushed green look on it really is very good in the hand, it feels great. It is very smooth. That 144 Hertz display is a pleasure to use. But again, I don't know how this is gonna convert uh, people that love iPads to get an Android tablet because all of the shortcomings are still here with Android apps on larger screens. Hopefully that'll be changing with the new Android 14 coming out and even the Android 13 L changes that are live in some of these tablets. They do make it a lot more usable and feasible, but real estate is just not maximized to what it should be. You're also not getting really optimized tablet apps. Some of these apps are just phone apps that look blown up. You can just tell the development in them is not where they would be on such things as an iPad. Now this is nothing new at all. It's not a deal breaker because the speakers on this and as a media consumption device, it does look and feel and sound really good with the quad speakers on all sides. The display in bright sunlight looks okay. I think the brightness only gets up to about 500 nits. Don't quote me on that. That could be uh, on the lower end, but it is not the most brightest uh, tablet screen out there. Beyond that, you do have a couple accessories that do make it a little more feasible and usable. You have that keyboard dock, you do have that pen you can put on top to wirelessly charge. Just like we see on an iPad and write, it has different points of sensitivity, uh, pressure sensitivity, I should say, and it works great. It does look great. It is a fun um, companion device, I will say, to have. The one thing that really does give the OnePlus tablet a, or OnePlus pad a heads up or a leg up over the competition, I think is that stamp the statement they made with the standby time. Standby time on this is phenomenal. This thing just does not drain battery significantly at all. 57% um, left, I didn't charge this in days. It just sips power very slowly. So that 30 day standby time uh, could be legit actually. We obviously haven't had it long enough to put it to the test, but just having said that, it is so far so good. Beyond that, you do have that single rear firing camera. You have your selfie camera, their pixel, you know, their tablets, cameras. You're not going to be taking pictures on this, I don't think. But if you need to, you have that option. It's there. Just don't expect the best results. But yeah, aside from that, it's been fun to use. I actually have given it to my daughter to use quite a bit more than I've used recently after uh, our initial hands-on in time with it, but had no issues. She loves it. Again, she's consuming media on it more than anything else. She's watching YouTube videos. She might be playing a game or two, but everything I've used with that MediaTek processor and all that, it's worked. It's handled everything. We haven't thrown everything in the kitchen sink at it where we multitask to the extreme because that's just not how we use our device. We want to talk about a real day in the life usage, not just some metrics that you're never going to use except for when you bog it down to just test it for a video. But yeah, I'll throw a link down below if you want to pick one up. It's about $4.79 right now. They might have some other deals on OnePlus to give you a free keyboard case. They were offering that for a while. OnePlus tends to promote their products quite a bit and give some sort of discount on them. So keep an eye out for that as well. Let us know, did you pick one up in the comments down below? Are you interested in it? Do you prefer the Samsung tablet? Do you want an iPad? Do you like the OnePlus pad or are you waiting on the Pixel tablet? Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.